Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of November. This is Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. I'm saying this is for November, but it could happen. Could have already happened. It may happen next month. It may happen this month. It may happen be happening right now. Um, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for triumphant news is arriving? Something is some sort of news is arriving, and whatever this news is, it's good news. I just saw the Eight of Wands. Uh, big happy changes, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. What do we got for Virgo? Um, six of Pentacles. You're going to be receiving something. Okay. Um, some sort of payout, perhaps, or a reward. Something that you deserve. You are going to be receiving something. <laughs> Could be money. I don't know what it is, but you're receiving something. Ooh, King of Cups reversed. Now, this is somebody who doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups in reverse. Now, I'm not saying it's you. I mean, this it could be. I don't know. We got somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. This is somebody that has a hard time communicating, can't master their emotions, um, doesn't act from the heart in reverse. This person could be very cold-hearted. Um, Two of Wands reversed. There's been some sort of indecisiveness. Somebody has been stuck. It's like something has been in the way, but I think I don't think that's the case anymore because the two of wands and reversed um, being held back. Somebody's been held back, restricting themselves, perhaps because of another person. I'm not sure. Let's see what we got. Ten, five of Pentacles reversed, coming out of the darkness. Seeing the light in a situation. Somebody may be coming back, just saying, to into your life. What the hell is this? Ten of Cups reversed. There could be a change at home. Change in a relationship. This could be the end of a relationship. It is most likely that kind of situation but somebody that you have ended something with may be coming back and this doesn't have to be I mean this could be a child it could be a lover it could be anybody it could be a family member there's been some sort of abandonment or some sort of uh, ghosting and they may be wanting to come back or something like that there's a loss of hope. Somebody may have, have felt hopeless. They may be feeling like this is a hopeless situation. Five of Swords reverse, but it's time to be happy. I don't want to fight anymore. It's like, I think this is like somebody that you have severed ties with and they're coming back. Could have something to do with a father and a child. is Ooh, queen of pentacles there you are stable solid secure grounded sitting on your throne at ease you have plenty of money you got you got plenty of assets right that's what it looks like to me Queen of Pentacles, reverse. She's a hard worker. This is somebody who is a hard worker. So this Queen of Pentacles is... You know, somebody who is loyal, abundant, motherly. This is a father and this is a mother. So it should have, it, or should have, it could have something to do with a mother and a father. This is somebody who will do anything 
anything to uh, I mean she she acts with integrity she does what she has to do to make things stable and solid and secure very nurturing individual see I mean everybody loves her everybody loves this person interesting two of cups we have a union we have two people coming together here justice you're about somebody's about to to win this is win something getting what they deserve balance out the scales Somebody may be getting the law involved. Perhaps the law is getting involved in the situation. This is a win. This is a win. This is somebody who is solid, stable, very, I mean, has everything that they need, very capable. This person is just waiting, sitting back and waiting. This person has worked very, very hard to bring themselves success. Now, the Five of Swords, is, this is letting go of ego. And, and it's like bringing back something, bringing back happiness, really. The lovers, the, the lovers reverse. There's an end of a contract here. And this is a contract as well. So I feel like there, and this is an end. So there's an end of a contract in some element of this story. There's been a disconnection in a relationship. There has, there's been a disconnection in a relationship, something that just wasn't meant to be. Somebody was losing hope. Maybe they were in a hopeless situation. But now you are about to receive something. You are about to receive perhaps a gift for your, your poise, your ability to just sit back and watch and remain poised and handle the situation in a practical manner. Because you are not losing control, it looks like you are going to be awarded something. This is like an award of some sort. It's like taking from one and giving to you. So I'm not sure what is going on. You're going to be receiving something. The high priestess reversed. Now keeping it a secret. Somebody has been keeping their, their plans a secret. Um, somebody may, that may have been dealing with a person who had hidden agendas, somebody that had, you know, tricks up their sleeves, somebody that had ill intentions. Um, they may have used a, used a child to get their own way or to assert their power. There could be a sudden, um, change with the two of wands reversed there could be there's things have been delayed for a while and there's some sort of sudden change in november i'm going to clarify this king of cups reverse this is a fatherly figure or somebody that uh just can't master their emotions this person may have addictions this person is emotionally withdrawn it looks like they uh, have a lot of insecurities within themselves they may mask those insecurities with addictions or whatever the case is um, they may have it, it feels like we get a, we get like a child here it's like a it feels like there's like a child issue here like a mother child father fight with the law something to do with the law um, page of, it does have to do with a child page of cups so something to do with a child um, but this is a new opportunity for something for love with a child it has, this has to do with a child king of swords and this is the law getting involved I feel like we have a the law getting involved with a child here um, Somebody is making a decision about a child, whether it's the law or it's you, Virgo. 
somebody is making a firm decision about a child. And I think it's, it's, there's been a delay. There's been a delay because of an, an inability to master emotions, fear, perhaps indecisiveness. But I think now a decision is being made and this could be like a child returning or, or, or a father returning. Even something is happening. Um, but I feel like this is the law. And this is the law. I think that this month, Virgo, you are going to be dealing with the law. You could be dealing with lawyers. You could be going to court. And I feel like you may be unaware or maybe, I don't know, this person may have been hiding, you know, who they really, really were. And it comes out. It comes out you can't hide the truth, but they were, they were masking it very well. They were very tricky. They were very sneaky. They were very cunning. But we do have the end of a false contract here that may have seemed, seemed hopeless. But I do see some sort of union. There is a union. There is two people coming together. Um, two people that... Uh, and I think it's going to be uh, decided by somebody else, which is crazy. And now, this could be even a higher power. This could be a higher power that it intervenes. I don't know. But it certainly could be a, the law as well. It could be a court. Um, it's like, it's time to let go of the ego. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to act with integrity. I think that you are going to be receiving something that you absolutely deserve. It's, it's time for you. This is, and, and this is a final decision being made. So there's something is going to be made final in the month of November. I would say by the second week, by the second week of, of, of November, there will be a final decision, whatever that, however that means. To you whether you're making that decision or, or somebody else's um yeah i think it's by the second week we do have somebody here that is emotionally they, they have used emotional blackmail as a tactic very uh, uh tricky individual here somebody who was very very cunning at pretending to be somebody that they were not so I feel like uh, you are about to clarify that Six of Pentacles. What are you going to receive, Virgo? Seven of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> something that you lost. It feels like something that you lost is going to be returned. You may be moving. Or somebody may be relocating. There's going to be chaos. There's going to be upheaval. Just so you know. There's been an extreme lack of imbalance in somebody's life. Could be a child's life. And it's time to bring balance back. That could be the focus. Restoring balance in somebody's life. Maybe it's yours. Um... There's been extreme, extreme dissatisfaction. Somebody was in a situation where there was no growth, where there was a lot of deception and lies with the high priestess reversed. You know, they, they, they a lot of uh, incompatibility there with the lovers reversed. There's been a, there's, it's been an uphill battle, but I think it's over. I think it's over. I think that you, you're you probably going to be fighting this battle with whoever this person is that you're dealing with. And it will probably, I think what's going to happen is everything is just going to, uh, get unraveled. I think that everything is about to get unraveled and I think the law is going to be involved. So be prepared, be prepared. I really feel like that is the case. Queen of Swords. Woo! So the Queen of Swords, she speaks the truth. She knows the truth. She's a quick thinker. This is somebody who thinks fast and she takes action. She don't just, when she wants something, she goes for it and there ain't no stopping her. No stopping her. So I believe that there is definitely going to be a decision made. And there's going to be some sort of reunion here of some sort. These are... I mean, these could be soulmates, and soulmates can be mother and child, soulmates can be father and child, soulmates can be two lovers, <coughs> it can be best friends. There is going to be some sort of union that comes... A decision is going to be made. 
to restore balance in a child's life. And I do not know who this reading is for, but I feel like Virgo, uh, you may have been overwhelmed for quite some time. You may have been feeling hopeless about the situation. But I think that those fears are going to are gonna dissipate because I feel like somebody is going to make the right decision. Somebody is going to make the right decision. They are. They are. It's like the truth prevails. The truth prevails here. Somebody has been trapped, perhaps trapped in a prison, and I think they're about to be broken free. Yep, things are about to change. This is the universe, this right here. It's the end of a cycle. I feel like we have somebody here that was definitely emotionally unavailable. Somebody that did use emotional blackmail. Somebody that saw themselves as a victim. Somebody that didn't know how to care for maybe a child. <coughs> or didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, and didn't put an effort for a child. Um, there could be a loss, you know, I think that it's almost like things, uh, somebody is changing hands. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. This is a change in direction, a change of home, perhaps. A change in direction. So this is uh, one cycle coming to an end and a new cycle beginning. This is meant to be. This is a faded change of course. feels like something is coming back around for you. It does have to do with uh, children. I know that it does. I feel that it does very strongly. Um, or it could have to do with a partner, a, par uh, a partner, you know, a love partner who may have gotten themselves involved with a person that didn't love them. And this is karma. Justice is a card of karma. So it feels like, and this is karma and destiny. So I think that there, this is good luck. This is a reward. So you are about to receive some sort of reward for your authenticity, your groundedness, your capability, your truth. Uh, you're about to receive a reward, Virgo. I know that you are. Some sort of reward. reward. Somebody's also moving. Somebody's moving. There, there's going to be a change at home. You know, whether somebody's moving into your home or you're moving into a new home or something like that. There's a change in residence here, as far as I can see. It's just time to be happy. I do feel like there is, it almost feels like, I don't know, there's a change in, in homes. For somebody that you are connected to. Um, what do we have for Virgo? One card please for November. This is good luck. And this is a win. So you are going to win something. I know that you are. Interesting. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. There is going to be some sort of coming together in the month of November. And this is a coming together of soulmates. It is. It really is. But you got to remember that soulmates are not always lovers. Okay, they're not always uh, sexual partners. Just I needed. To, I need you to know that this could be. But there is, it's like you are receiving a reward for your hard work. You're receiving a reward for your authenticity. You're receiving a reward for your skills and you're capable. You're very, very capable. And it's like, if you are going to court and this has to do with custody or it has to do with divorce or whatever, you're going to win. You're going to win. I see a win here. 
Anyhow, good luck.